five kilometer far distance is Itala, and we're heading for it. A bit difficult to see from here, but there's a monument on the highest point. This is a better view of Itala, and let's see if we can see the monument. There it stands on the summit. That was where the first Boer attack took place, about midnight. They worked their way down to the spur at the bottom here. Well, it's many years since I was last here, but there have been some enormous changes on this battlefield. We're now heading up to the main British position, which was below this spur and on the spur after they've been driven away from the summit of Itala, which you can see on the skyline. But these settlements are new and a lot of the trees have gone. Well, that's as far as we can safely get our motor car. This is the copse of huge blue gum trees. Where many years ago, when the children were small, we used to come and picnic. Behind Trish is the remnants of a stone-walled kraal the British uh, tried to secure or protect their animals during the course of the battle without much success. Most of that is gone. Thirty years ago it was quite a high wall. It was up this slope and then up and over the spur that Gunner Bradley won the Victoria Cross for not once but twice carrying ammunition to men stuck on the top after the first two men had been shot down in the attempt. This is one of the four British cemeteries on this total battle site and this is uh, just above the edge of the spur. Where once this was cared for, it now looks sadly neglected and in need of urgent repair. These are the graves as I could read them. Private Larkman, first Yorks of Banks, Private, looks like Goulding. First South Banks, Private Jones, First South Banks, Private Smallwood, Second Royal Lancasters Regiment, Private Walker, First South Banks, Lance Corporal Mitchell, Second South Banks, Private R. Keating, First South Banks, and Private a. Roberts, 1st Royal all killed on the 26th of the 9th, 1901. Looking from this rather dejected cemetery, I'll do a 180 degree turn and look up the slope to the top of Itala. And this is the attack that the Boers had to face, coming down the hill with no cover whatsoever against uh, men virtually dug in along this slope, this edge immediately in front of me. Rabbit. Little rabbit got a fright. Another view to the summit of Itala. That monument is about 1.6 kilometers up the hill. Too rough. Too bumpy. standing in the forest down below. Over here a whole lot of modern houses and if my memory serves me right, Isaiah Nizibandi's house used to be down here and it seems to have disappeared. All these Zulu houses on the slopes of Itala are new. Thirty years ago only Isaiah Nizibandi lived on these slopes. It was his property. When I first came to the site, Isaiah Nizabandi, who was then about 75 years old, brought me into this grove of trees to show me a rifle that was growing up out of the ground with a barrel stuck in the trunk of one of these trees. About 20 years ago, <clears throat> uh, 
it was taken out and that rifle is now in a private museum in Ladysmith. I can't identify the tree now with, that it was sticking out of, but it was obviously buried and as the tree grew, it grew round the barrel of the, of the 303 rifle and pulled it up out of the ground. It was sticking out of the ground probably about 12 to 18 inches. This looks as though it may possibly be in the tree, but at this stage it's very, very difficult to recognize the damage and I can't remember the position either. But that's certainly the level at which the 303 rifle was sticking out of the tree. Now this cemetery is in beautiful condition, as you can see, and this is below the spur, and they are of Private A. Heathcote, 1st Yorks and Langs Regiment, Private J. H. Davy, 2nd Something Regiment, Private A. Barton, 2nd Yorks and Langs. This is the other beautifully kept cemetery. I seem to remember that there were more men in this when I first saw it 30 years ago, but now it only shows three. This is very close to the, the track that leads up to the Blue Gum Forest. Private R. Sanders, 2nd Royal Lancaster Regiment. Looks like Private L.A. Form or Fort. First South Lancaster Regiment. And Private T. Kelly, 2nd Lancaster Regiment.